All right, I'll try to keep this brief. I got a few new pieces from the DC Chess Collection, which I just learned is called the DC Chess Collection and not the DC Batman Chess Collection for a reason. They have just announced the final figure from this set, and piece number 32 comes with piece number 33. Superman as the White King for a... Justice League theme set to follow on immediately after the Batman theme set. Um, I am a sucker, so odds are good that I will be collecting that one as well. Um, DC Chess Collection by Eagle Moss. I love it. Um, here we have Huntress, Batgirl, Riddler, Mr. Freeze, and the rare Headless Horseman variant of Scarecrow. Because I dropped him on the tiles, I pulled him out of his box for this, and his head broke off. Son of a crap. Um, I'm going to have to glue it. Hopefully it will work. It's some sort of um, lead resin thingy dealy. I don't know if I will be able to glue it or if I will have to buy a new one. Um, but I did want to show you his super crazy psycho face. Because I find it disturbing. And it looks better when it's on his head. Or on his neck, rather, where it belongs. Um... Although I guess I can do the Headless Horseman variant. Eh, he can't hold it quite so well. That works. All right. Uh, Mr. Freeze has a cool plastic dome on his head. His outfit's decent armor, and he has cool metallic red for his eyes. They're not goggles, which I find interesting, because normally I've seen him depicted with goggles. But in this case, they just gave him red eyes. And I like the blue metallic paint all over. It makes him look cool. He's got a cast toes. I'm sure if I drop this piece over once, this will snap off. But I am too broke to try collecting two of each of these in case of breakages. So I just got the Riddler and Batgirl yesterday. And I am very excited to finally have them. These are from early on in the set. And I just, due to money shortages, never bothered to pick them up. They were some that... I just never saw them cheap enough to pick them up while they were available, and suddenly they became super rare on eBay and were suddenly selling for $60 a piece. I ordered them from Eagle Moss's store. No, <clears throat> from Forbidden Planet, in a UK store that said they had them in stock. He is a bishop for the black side. And my order was cancelled because they were actually out of stock. He's even got the little question mark on his hat. Um, I panicked even harder and started surfing the internet, trying to find a place to buy them for less than $60. And then my comic shop guy, who has been hooking me up with all of these for a while now, found Batgirl and Riddler at a neighboring comic store. He picked them up for me for 20 bucks. so awesome. I will have a complete set without paying three times retail to get two of the last pieces. So Batgirl's the new incarnation, which I think is a good design. I don't read comics, actually. I don't know that I agree with Barbara Gordon being Batgirl again, because I like her as Oracle, and this design is reminiscent of when Stephanie Brown was Batgirl. They should have left her in, but I don't, I don't need to tell DC what to do. Um, I forgot to mention, he's got cool metallic -y purple vest and gloves and tie and mask and it's a good look for the Riddler. I like it. And finally Huntress because I've always thought this costume was really cool looking. And she is a rook. Oh, and I also wanted to complain that they made Freeze a pawn. Why is he a pawn? He should be a rook on the black side, but I don't remember who they chose to be the rooks. Anyway, I'm only missing the final ten pieces now. I'm all caught up on what's been released. And looking forward to seeing what the Justice League set looks like in a few months. So, anyway, this has already gone on too long. I love the DC's chess collection. The Batman set is awesome. If you can afford it, buy it. Although, these two are going to be really hard to find at this point.